In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to import a JSON file into a make.com scenario. Now, in make.com, it's called scenarios. In other no-code platforms, it may be named differently. It may be named a remix. There's so many names for it. But this is not what this video is all about. This video is just going to be short and sweet. How to show you how to import a JSON file into a make.com scenario. So without further ado, my name is Saeed. And I'm here to help you with your AI and automation journey, whether you're a business owner or kicking off an AI agency. All right. So let's go to my screen and show you what a JSON file looks like. So you may download a JSON file that looks something like this. Just a bunch of gibberish, right? Something that the average person will not understand if they don't know how to code. But that doesn't need to concern you today. Okay, what we're concerned about today is how to import this into an automation that actually works and helps you in, the, in your use case. Okay, so we're going to go to a make.com scenario, fresh new page. If you don't have an account, link in the description where you can sign up for free. And all you're going to do is click on the three bottom dots. You're going to go import, import blueprint, choose file. Choose with a file in JSON that you've downloaded, double click it and save it. And voila, that's it. That's all you got to do. Now from here, the next thing to do is to save it, of course, name it so you don't lose it into your automation scenarios and go from there. Now, all you got to do from here, once you've taken that JSON and imported it in these very simple steps, all you got to do is log in with your credentials for each node based on the automation in your scenario. So I hope this video helps. It was short and sweet, straight to the point. Again, my name is Saeed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, follow for more videos like this. All right? Thanks. Cheers.